Hi you guys, so today I wanted to talk about um, this project that I'm working on for college. Um, so, this project is based on an imaginary travel agency and the project, the, the spreadsheet will record input data, which means data that doesn't include calculations. So here you have the input data, customer tele customer name, telephone and destination, and ticket cost. And from here to here, you have the output data. Now output data is data that includes calculations and formulas. Um, I have a range of calculations in here. And one of the requirements of the assignment was I have to use a simple if and a conditional if. So here you can see an example of a conditional if. And I'll quickly explain that. So the column is the discount column. And the formula reads if E5, so if this column equals to Delux or or if um, C5 equals to Barcelona, then the customer um, the ticket cost will be multiplied by four uh, percent. So that means the customer will get a discount of four percent if they choose Deluxe Airport Transfer or if they uh, book a ticket to Barcelona and then the discount is deducted from the subtotal here to give you a final total so as you can see H5 minus um, L5 so that is an example of a conditional if and I have a simple if somewhere I have a simple if here so, um, my travel agency needed to, had a target, um, had a sales target of eleven thousand euro and eleven thousand five hundred euro. So this is the the um, total sales that they they hope to reach, and the actual sales that they made um, equals to twelve thousand six hundred and one euro and fourteen cent. And this, this row here is going to tell me whether my company is making a profit or a loss. And as you can see, it made a profit because it exceeded the target. And I use a simple if to determine that. So here is the formula. It says if J18, if J18, which is actual sales, is less than J17, which is here, then the company made a profit and if J18 yeah so that makes sense I just had a, a, a brain fart where I couldn't figure out what I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, so that's my simple if. Okay, now I get it. So if J18 is more than um, J17, then the company makes a profit. And if J18 is less than J17, um, then they make a loss. I can edit that so I can make my target sell 15,000 and G19 is gonna switch automatically to a loss like that. So I'm gonna change my target sale back to 601.49 so yeah that's my simple if um, So here I have a nested if in column F. So I will explain that. 
So column F calculates the total that the customer owes if they choose, depending on what type of um, airport transfer they choose. So I have two options. I have basic and deluxe. Basic is like a taxi cab and deluxe is like a limousine. And the formula reads, if E5 equals to basic, then charge the customer 35 euro. And or if E5 equals to deluxe, then charge them 75. So that's my example of a nested if. I can change this to basic. And everything changes as you can see. Um, so yeah, I'll change that back to deluxe. And so, on to the next column and to calculate the VAT owed by each customer, I went to my ticket cost and I multiply the ticket cost by this um, J21, which, which reads 23%. And then I fill down and it copy the formula to each of these rows okay and then to get my subtotal i added i just noticed a mistake in my calculation I should be adding this too. And let me. Yeah. So, yeah, to get my subtotal, I added ticket cost plus airport transfer cost plus fat. And then I fell down again. Um, yeah. And then to get the total, as I explained earlier, I deducted the discount from the subtotal. And that is basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.